operating systems os software software update now these terms or these things are very important in the digital world these days because there are two components which are extremely important for any experience be it a television a car you think of anything almost everything is a smart device these days the reason i'm telling you all of this is because android is supposed to get its 14 version very very soon what this means is beta 5.1 is out and the previous beta that is android 14 beta 5 is now available on the mi 11x it has been available for a while but i was trying it before i actually make this video right today's video we are not only going to talk about how stable this port is or how unstable it is whether you should install it or you should not install it but interestingly we are going to talk about all the new features that android 14 is bringing to the table hello everyone my name is kalash you're watching phone ops we make amazing tech content like this every single day so if you're new here it's a request please subscribe share the channel and the videos with your loved ones that will help us grow and bring even more amazing content for you now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops let's get going Now, before we actually, you know, dive into the Android 14 sort of thing, let's actually see what Mi 11X has on our hands. And yes, this is device is back from the dead. It was dead for two months and now it is somehow back. That is a different story video coming on that topic. Anyways, this is a Pixel 7 Pro hybrid port updated on the 13th of August 2023. Now, there is a disclaimer installation. Installation for these ports by Pirate X, I believe, are a little complicated, but it works. Now, this is of course updated to Beta 5. Safety net is fixed by default and check Google change log. All the previous change logs apply to the previous betas released by Google. So nothing specific to this device. Now, if we talk about bugs over here, NFC doesn't work and there are a few other bugs. One of them is extreme high battery drain. So it would probably not allow you to use it as a daily, but maybe try it for a day or two. You can do that. So let's see here you have screenshot FAQs and it says don't mirror the link and all that stuff. So let's go to the home screen. Now on Mi 11X, pure Android feels sweet it it just feels amazing because aosp roms on a 870 i did say it in my poco f4 video as well or the 3t video it works really really well be it realme ui or one ui or even mi ui which i want to avoid at all costs aosp roms feel different pure android is something on another level now let's actually go to settings over here and let's go to about phone if we actually see here you do have android version 14 and this is the real deal not a number upgrade or a build provided so if you keep tapping over here you will get this new easter egg if you long tap on it you will get constant haptic feedback which keeps increasing and then you can explore space yes you get access to a game and uh, i'm told that if you go to different parts of the space or galaxy or whatever you can actually land on a few planets and there are names mentioned over here of course everything is fictional but this is a very very sweet easter egg that google have included in this particular update and i really really liked it now let's go back to the home screen as you can see over here android 14 as a whole comes with slightly better monitor support you know the colors are much more pronounced and they work a little different now, if you swipe to the left, of course, you have Google Feed, which is slightly stuttery because this is a port, you know, otherwise on the Mi 11X, custom ROMs are smooth as butter, but it is nothing that will stop you from using it as a daily. You get a host of Google apps over here, including a Google camera. This is just a Gcam which comes with this port. It doesn't allow you to use multiple lenses. That means you will have to install another Gcam. And Android 14 is glorified Android 13. It's an incremental update. It's a bug fix update, even though it's a number jump, but there are no major changes. You know, like you like a UI overhaul or a look change and things like that. That is not that. So the camera APK is something that you'll have to manually install. Now, if you swipe from the top to bottom, you will once again notice that this is very, very similar to what Android 13 was. And as you can see, all is pretty much the same. The animations, okay, I have to tell you this. On this port, the animations and the smoothness is just next level. There might be some UI stutters here and there, but otherwise this is doing a splendid, splendid job as far as smoothness is concerned. Now, if you go to the edit menu, you get your standard Google stuff. Now, as you can see, along with edit, you do get this reset option over here, which means I've added, a, you know, one, two or three quick tiles to the main menu if I click 
reset it will be reset back to factory defaults and it works just as expected this hold and drag to add tiles shortcut is also now visible it was not available earlier okay now we are going to go to the mixed zone wherein i'll talk a little bit about this specific port and a lot about what android 14 as a whole has to offer first things first if you install this rom you will be able to make calls you'll be able to use voice over wi-fi you'll be able to use voice over lt basically the you know important things which makes a phone a phone are working so you won't have a problem even if you use the built-in google camera you will be able to click pictures so there won't be any issues with that as well apart from this you know data usage wi-fi sending and receiving text all of those are working absolutely fine now as i said the battery usage on this port is a problem for whatever reason i don't know but as you can see you know if i were to leave it overnight either the battery stats won't get recorded or the pixel launcher will take 63 percent of the battery so yeah it will not last a day you cannot use it as a daily now let's talk about the interesting and beautiful things available on android 14. Now, if you lock the screen you will see that the always on display looks different if you double tap over here you have this animation and colored tile if you long press over here you have this option of customize the lock screen the moment you unlock the device you have a brand new menu designed by google just for this option so now samsung's one ui has amazing lock screen customization ios 16 has beautiful lock screen customization and guess what google is joining the party now not only that as you can see you have multiple clock styles that are available over here that is beautiful i would like to see an addition of downloadable clock styles in future that would be great you can have different accent colors and you can select more wallpapers as well and these are all interconnected which means monet customization is present so whatever wallpaper color you have on the lock screen that will be a lock screen clock color and whatever wallpaper you have on the home screen that will be a home screen clock color so monet is extended now it does a much better job compared to android 30 and for the people who don't know what monet is monet is basically a theming engine it allows you to have the same colors for your icons based on your wallpaper now another neat addition of android 14 is drag and drop text which means you can select text from whatever app long press on it use the other hand go to another app and then just drop it here as you can see and you can do this seamlessly so that is an android 14 edition and it is useful in most scenarios you do have things like notification flash that has been added what that means is if you search for flash over here under notifications you have things like camera flash and screen flash and you can select the color as you can see the notification led is flashing and the screen will flash in a different color so let's select this one here there you go so this is good this used to be available on custom roms and people used to use applications but it is now default included in android 14. another neat addition which miui and realme ui have had for a while stock android is getting is now if you go to the expanded volume menu you have separate volume for notifications and ring volume that is a very very good thing because most of the times it's okay for you to miss notifications but not okay to miss calls now the next addition is for the lock screen so if you're using a six digit pin not a four digit pin a six digit pin you get something new what happens in a four digit pin is you just enter the pin and hit enter it takes you to the you know home screen but over here if you're using a six digit pin it will give you this option auto confirm correct pin now let's hit next and enter the pin once again and hit confirm okay now let's see what happens over here we've locked the phone double tap we want to unlock it so one two three not only you don't see the numbers but these you know quick pop-ups appear in a material style four five six it directly takes you to the home screen so that is a quality of life addition and it is more secure as well i really really like that one although i use pattern but that's a good addition another thing to note just like custom roms back gesture now has colored accent what this means is whatever theme color your phone is following as you can see you have a colored accent now and talking about the back gesture over here let's actually go to system and let's go to developer option there is a very interesting feature that is coming to android 14 that is known as predictive back so let's search for that okay it's way at the bottom let's go ahead and enable this see this 
So now when you have this enabled and I'm being told that in Android 14 stable version it should be available. The moment you swipe, you will see the next screen that you're going to. If you don't complete the gesture, you will go back to your main screen. But as you can see, you can see the app or the previous page where you're going to. This is known as predictive back. It's a very useful and beautiful feature. I really hope it comes to all custom UIs as well. These toggles that you see on Android 14 are slightly redesigned and they follow the material you theming now, which is really, really neat. Even on the home screen, if you long press the, you know, menu that you get over here is slightly different. For example, let's take this messaging application here. And as you can see, the look and feel of the pop-up menu is slightly different. It looks more organized and more cohesive compared to Android 13. So let's go to the notification tile over here and you will have battery saver here. Now it will give you two options. The first one is standard battery saver and the second one is the extreme battery saver. The moment you turn this on, the notification in the quick tile or the status bar over here is slightly different for extreme and the standard battery saver as well. Even when you connect the charger, you get a different animation in the status bar on Android 14. So that was everything about Android 14. But if you have a Pixel device and you are using Android 14, even the beta for that matter, it will show you the manufactured gear for that particular device. That can be useful when, uh, you know, you go ahead and buy a used smartphone or something. For warranty purposes as well, it can be useful. At the same time, it is being said that Android 14 might debut with a battery health feature, at least for Pixel devices. Now, coming back to our beloved, beautiful Mi 11X, should you use it as a daily? I don't think so. It is, a, is it a good port? It's definitely a good port. If you can get a good camera application and good battery backup, it's doing a great job. But if we talk about say benchmark numbers, you know, just for the kicks, you may not use it. 720 to 300. So not really a high benchmark score. And as you can see, it was dropping the battery just by 1% in this benchmark, which is very unusual because on idle standby, it drops a lot of battery. But if we talk about the CPU throttle test, it's all over the place, not a good score. So in Geekbench, you get 1134 and 3000 in multi-core. So all in all, performance and battery life for this port is not present at the moment. This definitely is a port you can try just for the sake of trying. That's everything about Android 14 and Android 14 for the Mi 11X. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. I'll see you in the next one. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.